So uh, the trust was facing a lot of issues or hinder from going ahead with a complete procedure for colonoscopy as a result of uh, poor power prep. And this was result in a lot of DNA or cancellation on the day, which there was a lot of implication financially at the same as patient experience was not great because some of those patients have to come for a repeat, which required another power prep to be taken. This is why we said we, why we don't uh, try to find an innovative way of improving patient experience, reducing the cancellation, which is also being associated with cost implication for that. At the same time, one of the main drives for the NHS now is uh, getting things right the first time. And we are aiming for uh, the patient to have one procedure done and they will be faster outcome and better treatment for the patient. So our process previously was just sending information leaflet to the patient or have communication via Telephone consultation over the for, uh, over the phone or face to face consultation where we give instruction to the patient about their medication, their diet, and what they need to do in preparation for the colonoscopy. Because usually they have to have certain uh, power prep for uh, before having the procedure, but unfortunately there was a huge uh, failure rate in that because the patient was not following the instruction as required. Therefore, we have introduced or plotted the new initiative, which is sending them text messages with certain interval or planned time interval to remind them when they need to start their diet, what type of medication they need to, start, uh, to stop at what time as well, uh, what type of uh, information needed before starting the power prep, uh, the dose and all the instructions. There was multiple benefit delivered for the patient. The first thing, this was an interactive educational material. So the patient was more aware of what is expected on the day. At the same time, there is a lot of reminders sent to the patient on different time frames during seven days before the procedure, which allowed the patient to prepare properly, which end up that majority of the procedure, not majority, is huge reduction in the failed rate and a lot of the procedure was always successful, which means that better diagnosis for the patient and better treatment plan. I think one of the key uh, uh, aspects that we have found that is very important for any successful project is getting everyone involved from the beginning, communication and getting all the key stakeholders part of the discussion and the preparation is really key, in, uh, in, uh, as well as uh, setting a clear objective and keep monitoring the progress of this objective as you are delivering or if you need an alternative approach, but the more, most important bit be target driven. So if you are uh, aiming for a certain percentage of reduction or improved patient experience, you need to focus this alongside the project.